This is SAT test 3, non-calculator question number 13, dealing with a rational equation. And the question is, for this rational equation, what is the value of a, if this is true for all x, except x equals 2 over a? Normally, I'd like to substitute in x equals 0, but if I do that, a completely disappears, so I can't find a. Let's try x equals 1, because that's the other number that's easy to work with. So that's 24 times 1 squared is 24, plus 25 times 1 is 25, minus 47 over a minus 2, equals negative 8 times 1 is negative 8, minus 3 minus 53 over a minus 2. This simplifies easily to 24 plus 25 is 49, minus 47 is 2, over a minus 2, equals negative 11 minus 53 over a minus 2. And I would suggest that this is much easier to work with than that was. Now let's move the a minus 2 term to the left, plus 53 over a minus 2, plus 53 over a minus 2, and that gives me 55 over a minus 2 equals negative 11. I want to solve for a, so let's multiply both sides by a minus 2, and that gives me 55 equals negative 11 a minus 2, distributing 55 equals negative 11 a plus 22, subtract 22 from both sides, 33 equals negative 11 a, divide by negative 11, and I get a equals negative 3, which is choice B. I can also do this algebraically, and I'll do that just as a review of the algebra skills. Let's combine the ax minus 2 terms all on the left. So if I add 53 over ax minus 2 on the right, and I also add 53 over ax minus 2 on the left, this gives me 24x squared plus 25x plus 53 minus 47 is plus 6 over ax minus 2 equals negative 8x minus 3 because these two terms canceled. That's why I added 53 over ax minus 2. Let's multiply both sides by ax minus 2. And that gives me ax minus 2 times 24x squared plus 25x plus 6 over ax minus 2 equals negative 8x minus 3 times ax minus 2. ax minus 2 times 1 over ax minus 2 is 1, leaving the left-hand side is 24x squared plus 25x plus 6. The right-hand side is negative 8ax squared plus 16x minus 3ax plus 6. The only part we really need to look at is the 24x squared equals negative 8ax squared. If these two quadratics are equal, then their x squared coefficients have to be equal. So 24 equals negative 8a divided by negative 8. Negative 3 equals a. That's not a lot of steps, but each step is so much more involved than the steps when I substitute in x equals 1. So I prefer substituting in values. Either way, I end up with a equals negative 3. Come back for my next math video. With math, there's always more.